you feel right now? If one of your friends came by and said, how do you feel? How would you respond? It used to be people would say, fine. And then it became well. And then it became good. I'm good. Not I feel good, but I'm good. But where's that response coming from? Do you ever find yourself looking at a friend or somebody in your environment who you come in contact with or observe, and they are just down full of energy? And they're dynamic and they're happy and they're alive and they're doing so much and it seems that there's no end to their energy. How come you don't feel that way? Do you realize that your feeling physically, emotionally, isn't quite on par with them? So many people forget what it feels like to function feeling fantastic, feeling pain-free, worry-free, full of energy. When I used to see people in my practice, it would be really interesting because when we finished the session, they'd say, wow, I forgot. I used to feel like this. I've been in a, it's kind of like being in a hole. And most people I know today, they're in that hole because they don't realize it, because they forgot what it feels like to be fully alive. If you or someone you know would like to just have more energy, feel more alive, stop hurting, stop feeling confused, stop worrying about some kind of health issue that you want some help with in addition to your doctor, go ahead and contact me. I'll have a chat with you and we'll see what we can do to get you back on track with your total well-being because life is just too short to not enjoy every. What are ways that you can be fully alive? Well, you know I love science and I do a lot of watching, reading, listening to all kinds of science. What's the latest thing? And by the way, the thing about science is it changes over time. What is science now isn't going to be the same science, isn't going to be the same verified truths in, I don't know, in a few years that they are now. So when people look to science as this is the truth, you might just want to step back and look at it differently. In your world, the way you think, what you think about how you feel, the message you're telling yourself about how you feel, guess what? That's how you feel. If you focus on, well, this little thing hurts, or gee, I feel a lot of confusion today, or you feel, wow, I'm ready to go out on a hike. I'm ready to go out and play pickleball. I don't know what pickleball is. I haven't played it yet. But when the weather warms up, I'm going to find out what it is. I do my high-intensity workouts. I do my qigong. I do my rebounding. It takes a lot of energy to do those things. But you know what? Doing those things wakes me up and fills me with energy. So if you don't have a regular exercise routine and you feel like you're just too tired to get started, think again. Find something that appeals to you. And there's lots of stuff. If you contact me, I'll and if you're a woman, I'll have something very special for you to recommend. And it's really incredibly unbelievable how inexpensive it is. And it's streaming. And if you're a man, same thing. Because until the workouts that were designed solely for women to work with our hormones, I had one after the other, after the other programs of doing what was just generally considered healthy and invigorating. 
So getting your body going, getting out in the sun, your body needs the sun energy. It needs to be outside of where you're living. The air will be different. I'm not saying it'll be the cleanest air in the world, but it'll be different. It'll let you feel alive. There'll be a temperature difference. Change your environment. Change your inner environment. What are you eating? What are you drinking? Whatever is going in your body is impacting your wellness or the lack thereof. Your outlook of where you want to go and what you want to do, that has everything to do with how you're feeling, how you're getting through or struggling through each day of your life. There are two schools of thought. There's the thinking and there's the emotions. It used to be in the days of Descartes, I think, therefore I am. It's been a long time since people believed or followed or lived in, I think, therefore I am. It's, I am, therefore, I think. I heard this fabulous quotation. We don't run from bears because we're afraid of bears. We're afraid of bears because we run from them. So that's putting things in the other direction from the way we've been trained. The way you think compartmentalize to function, but that's putting blinders on, seeing only what's there, but there's a whole big world beyond those blinders. I spent most of my life in the woods and I didn't know where I was going and I could have felt like I was lost, except the universe always showed me how to get home. How come? Well. I never panicked about being lost. I'd be out in my car as an adult, especially after that first brain injury. I had no idea where I was. Or when I drove cross country in the days before GPS systems, and I didn't know where I was lost. And I would just think, okay, I appear to be lost, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to get scared. I'm not even going to get stuck there. And I'm just going to keep going the way I feel the universe is guiding me to go. It's physical feelings more than it is emotional feelings. Here's what can happen if you let your emotions get in the way of allowing the information to come in from the universe. When I worked in crisis care, oh, way back in 1996, as in crisis care, I was cornered and attacked by somebody three times my size, literally cornered, I couldn't move. And she kept slamming me in the head. Now, I could have gone to fear, and I have no doubt if I had gone to fear, I would have been killed right then, but I couldn't go to fear because I was in charge of the facility. I was in charge of the people for whom we were caring. I was in charge of the assistant who was working with me that night. So I didn't jump into emotions. I just jumped into, I know what I need to do to stay alive, to stay safe and to keep everybody in the facility safe. When I got caught in a blizzard up in the mountains and all these cars were going off the road and down ditches, I didn't get scared. I just focused on what I needed to do so the universe would guide me to safety. Even when my car spun out of control, I was still guided. If you let your emotions take over, when you hear stories of people in situations and they wind up dying because they got scared and they became immobilized, you've heard of somebody just freezing in a scary situation? Those are the people who don't survive. 
So I came across a new book. You know, I'm always looking for new books. This one's called Deep Survival. It's the stories that you hear about in the news. The young girl, the 17-year-old girl who in the plane crashed in the forest in Peru, she came out healthy and alive without things to eat or drink or a guide of how to get there. She focused on what she needed to do to survive. She didn't let her emotions stop her. The other people, all the adults on the plane, they just sat down and died. If you give in to your emotions when you're in a scary situation, you can't see the truth. You can't see the reality. You can't see the choices available to you. Now, this book, Deep Survival, I'm recommending it to you this week. And you can get it for free in the audiobook by following my link that's in the show notes. And you can listen to it. And if you're actually on the level of Audible that I'm on, I got it for free. Anyway, follow the link for your 30-day free trial. Look around, see all kinds of things that will open you to worlds that you didn't know about before. I've talked to you before about how you can change your entire body chemistry and your entire outlook on life by smiling. Because when you smile, it changes your posture. It changes the chemistry running through your body. And you know what else it does? It can also shut down the part of your brain that would go into fear in a dangerous situation. That's why, have you ever been with somebody and it was a scary or a dramatic situation and they break out in laughter and you thought, what the heck? It's nature's mechanism. It's nature's way of shutting down the part of your brain that lets you jump into fear. When you smile, you're able to cancel the fury action and take the actions that lead you to survival. Everything in life is a choice. You get to choose whether to go down the road that's empowering to you, that lets you be happy, satisfied, fulfilled, or you can keep moseying along the road where you're currently stuck and you can stay stuck for the whole rest of your life or you can be stuck in a painful place and lose your health maybe slowly but steadily or maybe quite quickly go ahead and contact me and i'll show you how to contact the uh, invisible forces, your guides, your angels, the universe, all those messages are coming nonstop to you to take you where you want to go in your life so you can live your very excellent life. I'm Reverend Allie Bierman, and I'm so Grateful that you came here today to join us for Let's Get Metaphysical, Connecting Heart and Mind. Everything that's driving our lives in every moment is out of our awareness. It's the invisible forces, whether it's coming from up here or more likely from our heart. You know, you have five times as many messages that are going heart to brain as going brain to heart. So you always want to know how to tune in to your heart because your truth and your guidance lives in your heart. It's not where somebody else tells you what to do, what to believe, where to go. It's what you get to discover 
is already within you and your possibilities. You can go this way or you can go that way or that way or that way or that way. It's your choice. But you're not going to see all those choices until you allow yourself to do so. Remember to join our Facebook group. Make a new friend. Get the extras I put in there. Please tell me what you want me to talk about here, right here on our show. And you can always find every episode, both in audio or in video, on our website. Remember to enjoy, that's capital I-N, capital J-O-Y, every moment, because nothing in your life ever happens, ever registers, ever lets you experience through taste, touch, seeing, hearing, smelling, outside of you, can't happen outside of you. And I thank you so much for joining our community and allowing me to continue to do this with your generous donation, whether it's $1 or $5. Every month you can join me on a live video chat where I can know who you are. Talk to me, I'll talk to you. I look forward to seeing you here next time.